that, so he used far less energy and that final 400 metres than Neil Gawley had to. Oh dear old Timothy Cherrit in the end came through in sixth place of the test that he was pushed from behind by Elliot Giles. And for him to be advanced, usually then someone has to be disqualified for pushing, uh, for them to advance Rossmith. So that will, I'm pretty sure, have, uh, if, uh, um, you know, the Poles are a bit like the Brits, they're quite good at protesting. <laughs> Um, I don't think Elliot did anything wrong that doesn't happen in, in 1500 meter running yet. In the final, I think we may get four or five different winners. That is how competitive this race is. And of course, we have Zano. We're looking at Browning in the middle. I can't get over the start from Saka. I have seen him start before, but that's got to be just about the best start in the business. Unbelievable. I think Rohan Watson, who we're going to see, don't really know much about him, or not certainly not in the circuit much. And that is a real big bounce back. That there was a quick race in Memphis, wasn't there? And he, he went sub 10. A little bit more head on, and his arm comes out to just get a little bit of balance back. You see his right arm now shortly go a little bit wider as he pulls himself back in. Solid performance by him, though. Well, it was, you'd say, well, why did Vion go out so hard? You know, these two are so much better than everyone else. Couldn't they have run a little bit easier? Just, you were talking about strike patterns there. Vion himself went out very hard through the first 200 metres. Just explain why it's not so easy. As well by Rasmus Maggi. That's that experience. He's got so much experience. Age of 31, but he's been around at major championships for so, so long now. So he certainly did that. Lifetime best for the German. The Jamaican, young. A little bit of an expecting a little bit of en energy. So come the final, when he's really striding out, you should see him going back to his 12 strides where he'd be quite alternating. Yeah, when you watch the three of them run, you know, Dos Santos, Benjamin and Vol Volholms is, is... So what he needs to do was just settle into his rhythm because he's very lyrical. But look at this. He was not even over the barrier height in that sense. So his lead leg sneaks over it, but of course your hamstrings are a little bit bigger brings it down smack on top of that barrier and he ends up on the floor he'd be so gutted and i, I didn't see exactly where yogochi was in the race at the time in uh, yogochi so there's no allows fred curly they're quite dismissive of the olympic champion but he's still an olympic champion maybe paying the respect he deserves to this only if you're running quickly and he doesn't seem to be running quickly so i think it's pretty fair from those guys and what do you think about the needle in this? You know, there is a little bit of tension between the Americans and it seems to be the rest of the world. Do you think that's going to spur the other athletes on, Jess? I think it's good. I think you need these. You'll see much more clearly even within the the hundred meters how so much can happen in it and 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 the different ways that the race is run coleman's such a fast start and we'll see you know if coleman against noel <laughs> caliber of the Coleman's of this world. I mean, technically, but, but, just looking at this, it, Michael, it's not it's a, a bad start, start. right? It's a I was just start. thinking that, Absolutely. Jeanette, right? I mean, you're, you're a 100 meter sprinter. I mean, that, that was a great start. I mean, technically, everything looks good. It just strides in the back end of the race. Watch head on here. Zanel is just doing his very best to keep cool. Look at Noah Lard. He's pumping his shoulders, pumping his arms, trying to keep focus there, lifting his knees to haul himself through at that back end and Zarno lunges for the line and he realizes at that stage even when it's so close oh they can't kick and we'll, we'll want to take it out hard and we've seen a season of lots of 143s 144s haven't we yeah there are so many men capable now of the top three going through and a very good run in the heat before that from Ben Patterson making it three Britons through to the semi-finals let's hear from him now talking to Jeanette Ben, congratulations, just through to the next round. He had to work more than he needed to do. Very, very composed down at home straight. Certainly a lot more ease in that. And slap as it is, whatever it is, with, with Lynn Barantini is, who's working just that little bit.